What are you doing here? We specifically told you not to follow us! <sighs> Are you listening to me, Ego? But I'm the only one who knows how to open up the way through. What? You have to squeeze into a really tight hole to open up the way through. You'd never be able to fit. Not in a million years. You said nothing about this back at the house. You tricked us. I didn't trick you. I just left that part out. It's the same thing! Anyway, I'm small enough to fit through a silly little hole. But you're too tiny to move the stone lever that opens the passage up. What stone lever? You didn't say anything about that! Nope, I didn't. Well, we'll have to take Eggel with us now. That's the only way to awaken the crystal. We can't do that! What if he gets hurt? No need to yell at Anya as Tiz! What are you so upset about? I... What do you propose then, Tiz? Will you make him go back by himself? I wouldn't do that. We'll go back with him. What if the sword bearers or black blades beat us to the temple? Ego was just attacked by the enemy, right? He was held prisoner by them before as well. They may already be aware of this passage he found. But... I believe we should focus on the task of awakening the crystal. Exactly! To cleanse the darkness from this world, we must accept some risk and some sacrifices. Never! What are you saying, Eri? I don't want anyone to be sacrificed! I won't allow it! What then? You have been impossible lately, Tiz! You are trampling upon the will of Egil, the late Fire Vessel, and me! As a vessel, I cannot let you do this! Do not interfere with my mission! H hey, both of you need to calm down! He... reminds me of my little brother who died... Till... What? When that chasm opened up, and Norende was swallowed by darkness... My little brother, about the same age as Eagle, he fell along with it, right before my eyes. I couldn't save him. I couldn't hold on to Till's hand any longer. The look on his face as he stared back at me and fell into that black pit hasn't left my mind ever since. The same goes for the water vestal. It was agony. Watching her life fade in front of me. I couldn't bear to watch Anyas cling to her and weep. I've seen enough death to last a lifetime. That's why I don't want to lead Egil into peril. Even if it is to deliver the world from danger. Hmm. Then why don't you try to stop Agnes from facing danger, Tiz? Because I know that no matter what, Agnes would just go off on her own. And I promised Agnes that I'd stay at her side. To be there. To protect her. Tis. Well, there's your answer. Huh? What do you mean? We'll go together with Ego. Tiz will protect him. We all will. Right? <sighs> Please, let me go! I want to see the Fire Vestal's wishes carried out! You win. But you're not to go wandering off without us, okay, Eagle? Got it! Thanks! Uh, uh, huh? What? Never mind. It's nothing. Let's move on.
careful, okay? I will. I know this place like the back of my... <gasps> Whoa! What? <laughs> A big piece of mithril ore! This isn't the time for that, Ego. You've got to stay with me, okay? Oh, come on! Finding this can mean the difference between eating or not, you know. It's a precious find. <sighs> Let it go, Eagle. The war will be over soon. Then you won't have to worry about finding Mithril anymore. Wow! Now that I look at it more closely, I think this is Orikalkum. Amazing! When we find some of this, we get eggs with our dinner. <laughs> it's my lucky day! Oh. Eggle or Eri could fit down there. Okay, here I go. It opened! See? Whoa, I felt a blast of hot air. The Temple of Fire must be down here. Let us hurry. It's the same as the one from my dreams. The Fire Vestal told me the way to go. The Temple of Fire is... that way. Great! Way to go, Eagle. <laughs> I only know because the Fire Vestal told me. It's nothing special. I bet you're glad you brought me though, right? Yes, yes. Let's get going.
Are you getting tired, Eagle? Yeah, it's hot down here. Let's take a little break then. That okay with you, Agnes? Oh, okay. Hey, Eagle. What will you do when the war ends? Hmm, I don't know. Isn't there anything you're passionate about? I'd like to go to military academy. Then I want to be a guardsman for the shield bearers. My mother and father died noble deaths protecting the top shield bearers. The soldiers of the shield bearers served to protect the fire vestal. I want to shield people like my mother and father did. Is that so? But I guess I need to find a place to live before that. I have no home to go back to now. After my mother and father died, my grandfather took me in. He was really kind, but he got sick and died soon after. I had nowhere to go, and then I ran into some sword bearers who were rounding up orphans. They took me to the mithril mine. I see. You've done well to survive on your own. <laughs> I guess I have.
Are you thirsty, Eagle? We should rest a bit. Yeah. Sorry. I have to keep my promise to the Fire Vestal. I don't want to run out of steam before then. You hold the Fire Vestal dear, don't you, Ego? Your faith in crystallism is strong for such a young boy. Well, my mother and father were followers. I'm not sure what I believe in yet. The teachings of crystallism are a bit over my head. I don't really know what to make of them. Then why do you brave such perils? Because I made the Fire Vestal a promise, that's all. She always looked so sad in my dreams. <laughs> I just want to see her smile for a change. Oh.
I've seen this place before. We're almost at the Temple of Fire. I wonder if that crevice leads into the temple. The earthquakes are getting stronger. Watch your step. If you die here, Anya, the world's last hope will perish with you. I know. It's shaking again. The ground's collapsing under us. Run! Right, Eagle. Yeah. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> you really gave us a scare. I could say the same of you. Huh? We all said we'd help Eagle, and yet you left in alone. <laughs> What? And where exactly did you think you were going, Agnes? <laughs> that was a shock. You picked a bad time to show you have no sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> the way Agnes caught both of you with those spindly arms of hers is a story I'll pass down to my grandchildren. I didn't know you had it in you, Agnes. I've got eyes like a hawk. Yet you kept it hidden all this time. It was just the adrenaline. I surprised even myself. So you acted without thinking whether you could pull it off? Uh, yes. I'm just glad we're all safe and sound. Uh, Tiz, and Adia, and Ringabel. I'm so sorry for saying such terrible things. Well, will you still stay at my side? Of course! Oh, not you, Ego. <laughs> he took my line! <laughs> <laughs> Enough giggling! We have to hurry to the Temple of Fire! Come on! Time is running out!
No accident these were destroyed. The ones who attacked the temple. sword cuts left in this table. <laughs> Unlike the Temple of Wind or Water, this travesty was at the hands of man. So this is where the Fire Vestal met her end. You're right. They look a lot like your garments, Agnes. These are her clothes! The Fire Vestal was wearing these when she came to me in my dream! Strange that only her ceremonial garb would escape destruction. She'll never get to wear them again. Huh.
ready to go. We can't begin the Rite of Awakening until we defeat it, right? I'm afraid not. Let's go, Agnes! The four of us are more than a match for that thing! All right. Are you blushing, Eagle? Of course not! Don't be silly! No need to be shy. Any man would be hard-pressed to pull his gaze from Agnes now. Uh, hey, what are you looking at me for? No reason. Come on, let's hurry this up! Everyone but Agnes, stay back!
that? Thank goodness. Are you all right, Onyas? Yes. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Oh. Eagle? Hey, Eagle! What's wrong? You look moonstruck. Oh. I was just amazed at how different she looks. Thank you for watching over me, Eagle. The Fire Vessel would be very pleased with you. Oh. No problem. So I kept my promise to the Fire Vestal, right? Of course. Thanks to you, we were able to awaken the crystal. Huh. That's good. Is it, Eagle? All the ore! 
It's disappeared! What do you mean? Is it something to do with awakening the crystal? Any idea, Eri? With the death of the fire vessel, it was no longer possible to control the magma that represents fire. The Mithril Ore used to create powerful weapons and armor. Perhaps it's another symbol of fire, subject to the crystal's control. What? Well, we don't know that for sure yet. Anyhow, we'd better go report to Commander Goodman. Did what? You went to the Temple of Fire? There was a way in through the Mithril Mine? Yes. We have awakened the Fire Crystal. That should quell Mount Karka's fury. That is excellent news. Thank you, Wind Vestal. We owe you and your companions our thanks. One thing. After we awaken the Fire Crystal, all the veins of ore in the mine disappear. I see. Oh, no need to look so dejected. This is actually good news for us. After all, the mithril warheads the sword bearers fired upon us were a source of great concern. This should change the course of the war. If we are lucky, it may end soon. Once the eruption of Mount Karka subsides, we will also work to restore the Temple of Fire as quickly as we can. I would appreciate that. The Fire Vestal should be given a proper funeral without delay. After all, we were only able to awaken the Fire Crystal through the help of Ego here and the Fire Vestal. Is that so? Fine work, Ego. You have my thanks, too. <laughs> what will become of the Canary Boys, who were working in the mine? They were all without homes to go back to, so we will harbor them here in Heart's Child. The townspeople will see that they are cared for. I'm glad to hear that. You'll be seeing your friends again soon, Abel. Yeah. Well, you are all tired, I dare say. Please get some rest while you sojourn in Heart's Child. What's the matter, Eagle? I don't want to live in this town. What? Why not? I want to go with you! Huh? That's simply not... So you wish to fight by our side, hmm? 
Oh, I can't do that. I don't know how to fight. But I still want to go with you. Please, take me with you. I'll do anything you ask. It just won't work. Even if you say no, I'm still going. Then we have a problem. Let's go to Commander Goodman's residence. We've decided to take Aegle in. My husband has agreed that it would be best. You hear that, Aegle? That's great news! You couldn't wish for a better family than the Goodmans. <sighs> I hope that when you grow up, we'll see an age free from the ravages of war. I would hate to see you end up a soldier. I believe your husband has what it takes to make that happen. Thank you for your kind words. Well then, Aegle, you take care of yourself. We'll be back to check on you, so be on your best behavior. <clears throat> I will. Goodbye, everyone.